There's not a lot of notable, notable players here yeah, today. Nothing. Like, for example, like Carful, for example. Like, right. is not here. We don't see the king. We don't see anyone. We see Numbies. We see a helper, which we're about to see right now, Numbies. Um, and so, which are literally right now, yeah. Numbies and Helper <laughs> coming in right on deck. Going into top six winners finals, which, you know, the script is really worth scripting today, Ubo. We have house versus house. Uh, numbers and helper. Yeah, that was a full suite of house uh, from Devin making it to top uh, 16. You, you like that time when I died at zero? Yeah. Anyway. It was great. <laughs> so real. So, oh, so, so, so Going real. Going the void, we go. <laughs> oh, man. Devin in production hell. But we are back here in Winner's Finals. Nice. Helper, I'm going to be contesting numbers off stage here. And as you can with Sora, double counter going to be taking numbers even further off stage. And then, the, of course, just going in once again. Numbers is kind of struggling to get back on stage. Great tech harvest in the first instance of numbers actually touching the ground with his toesy woesies. But again, can be sent off stage with a Thundaga again. Great stuff from Helper all around. And you saw in the flare cam that little bit of a of a leg slap there from Numbers. Seeing the the reversal there of a of expectations on the part of Helper being going low, but then using the Thundaga to cover that same amount of verticality that Numbers is trying to use against him. So so nice from Helper. Looking really solid here. Usually in these type of sets, we usually see Helper drop a stock early to something like a down air or a big edge guard from Numbers, but Helper's playing very controlled, very close to the stage, and relentless in his offstage game. I love that Helper is so confident in contesting Numbers on stage, just like this, the free, the the the, the Blizzaga as well. The numbers has really not been able to answer back on this beautiful edge cover until finally right then and there we finally get some 20 some percentage on helper as well now what can we see a little bit i love the patience you saw the patience from helper right there just waiting out when numbers gonna throw you saw the grab come out you saw everything in the in the sun from john numbers but helper is like i'm gonna stand here and just punish you let's talk about it let's talk That's about it <laughs> I, I i do really enjoy just like helper standing there but i think flat out numbers just didn't run far enough <laughs> just, like, <laughs> <laughs> just like i'm running out i'm coming Whiff completely. <laughs> yes, and he's got the cast <laughs> like, real fast. <laughs> Oh my god, even and though the berry not going to be enough to take uh, Helper out, we're going to be Sonic Blading right above the Sun Citation and continuing our onslaught with these Nairs. Helper still three socks to one against John Numbers. The Thun Dog going to be cutting all three, but the excellent DI is going to be keeping Numbers back in this game even longer. On the air dash down in order to get to the ledge and anticipating the challenge. 3 0! Yo! We were talking about it before the stream. Like, Numbers has been having like a real struggle through a lot of this bracket. Like, 2 1 after 2 one up against Goober and Aster, two very solid players who are sitting in the loser's bracket right now. Meanwhile, Helper has just been like, oh, 2-0, handshake, free stock, handshake. Like, I'm moving on. I'm I'm not caring. Like I've got it all figured out with this Sora, and this bracket has been his to dominate thus far. And with a free stock on John Numbers, I mean, who's going to stop him? That's good confidence, personally. <laughs> yeah, I sure. would be run I could ask three stock John Numbers in game one. Ooh! Feel sexy today. <laughs> We're going into this game too with the uh, the highest of highs, winning the first game against Numbers. Which honestly, might be the biggest challenge of all. Climbing that, getting over that first hill, and then wanting to maintain that hike. Which Numbers, I'm sorry, which Helper, I believe, is doing relatively well, keeping this back to an even game. 30% on the board, going in, be saving the missionary with the uppy instead. Only sending Numbers off stage once more. Talk about not going to be doing anything on shoot, but the Blizzaga does narrowly uh, miss Numbers there. The re-grab getting punished by that dash attack. So nicely placed on the part of Helper. Just playing so far back when utilizing these spells, negating the utility of the volleyball, negating the utility of a lot of these ledge shot reversal options. The only thing that would power through all of them would be a fully charged sun salutation, which Helper is doing a really good job of just never giving John the time of day. Look at all of this pressure oh. and the Thundaga almost taking up the stock here, Mott. Can we see the finish? The back air just barely whiffing. I love the mix-up going not instead of going for Nair, you know, going for one, two, and three. We instead drop at number two, go for the upbeat, and reset on the ledge. The helper is doing an impeccable job of maintaining this positioning and catching the jump from the ledge with the up air, and it's gonna be sending John to the blast on the second stock. Uh, I'm sorry, only two stocks left for numbers in this possible game two before he might be going to losers. Helper still hasn't dropped a stock in this set. Okay, <laughs> we Pause. we got a little scared. Pause. We're so back. This okay. back throw shouldn't do it. Oh uh, no, no, no. not back without row. deep breathing. 
Poor Big Girl has no kill throws, but with DP the active, you're absolutely right. It does put a uh, a a stinter into Upper's plans, but the, you're not going to be able to take an untechable situation like that, which does give numbers a little bit of leeway, a little bit of breath of life to make this back into his own favor. Deep breathing is not active now, so we feel it's a little more manageable to deal with for Helper. I just like that down air coming out from uh, from numbers when it came to uh, Helper trying to grab the ledge. Like all of this pressure from numbers is. Uh, like based off of Helper's like really solid control over this game, the desperation that uh, Numbers is feeling is really really tangible and something that I hope Helper takes advantage of. Absolutely necessary tech in order to survive that. But the down air after the counter calling that right out, re-establishing Numbers with a little bit of confidence of his own and getting some mojo back into the Wii Fit Trainer. And you know that counter was so almost almost well timed, a microsecond too early, unfortunately, which allows Numbers to get this lead. Gonna be pushing it right with the down air, gonna be going in and invading Helper's face. And, and Helper's doing a great job at, at kind of, you know, moving around with, you know, so, uh, not, I'll say Sonic, uh, Sora's dash attack, for example, low profiling everything, going for the up air, um, for the up B, and you know what? We, we can't take those. Yeah, we got one sucks. stock apiece. Sometimes uh, multi hits in Smash Ultimate. I shrug my shoulder, I smile. Yeah, it was, you know, mm. Sometimes it happens. Like you're trying to plan for the tech, but no tech and opportunity comes. Either way, though, Helper giving himself a very solid opportunity to win this set 2-0 to zero in advance to Grand Finals without a care or a worry. This is a re-grab, not until the volleyball hit him, allowing for Helper just to uh, align for John to whiff and get back to ledge with no problem. The up air one gets through. Helper is slowly reoccurring some of this damage, but it's getting very dangerous here. Mount 100, 121 now, and you are in that bubble. Oh, okay, I, th I, I like the use of the, of the counter there, and I also have to just lose the Sonic Blade in order to get some extra damage, but also recover a ledge. So you have a little bit of iframes to, to, uh, to play with before numbers can do anything. That roll in from Weather from Ledge does help numbers out in maintaining some space and then going right back in with the dash grab. Uppers offstage trying to interrupt the, the deep breathing with the Blizzaga, but I'm sorry, with the Thundaga, but it's not going to be enough as numbers try to run down, go for that back air, try to go for the F as well, and then the back air on shield, and finally. Is gonna be the beating up to Efto, who secures that game and goes to, it brings us to a game three. Ooh, that was so so tense, and I really like the idea there from Helper. John just one step ahead, as we see in this little slowdown. The air dodge so perfectly timed, the roll behind so great, but the fade from John this position, he lands a super high back air on Sora's shield. You get to see uh, the tips of his hair poking out, and Depending on Wii Fit's drift, he can land behind or in front, and it's just a guess that Helper has to make. Drop shield and see if you get the right side that John Numbers is on, and unfortunately for Helper, he did not. GG's, we go next. Yeah, shake my hand. Shake my hand, we're going to game three. <laughs> and this is, you know, another song and dance for uh, Numbers, another game three we've been seeing throughout the, the more deeper we see in bracket against Cooper was game three, against Astro was also game three. Well, help me, like you mentioned earlier, first game through the night. My man has been going 2-0 against everybody. So maybe Numbers is going to be the first foil in Helper's plans. But before so before we get to all that, Deep Breathing is active. We are going to be using the Fire Raga to actually low-key high profile that dash tag coming in from We Fit. And that Deep Breathing is gone and dusted. But Miss Tech does not steal the deal for Sora quite yet. We are Sora. We do have a couple of options to get at the stage. Helper is hunting for some of these conversions. A lot of Nair and Fair 2 into just big whiff on forward smash. Normally at these percentages, you're not going to be able to find forward smash combos except out of like falling Fair 1. You'll be very careful about how much you're swinging because Helper is certainly looking for that home run hit. Absolutely, and Number is finally able to use that soccer ball as a cover for that dash attack, allowing himself to actually position himself in where Helper was doing so well, which is on that platform on the ledge. Guess the, 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 the reverse uh, F tilt. And we are once again kind of uh, negating what Helper wants to do. I love the fake out coming in for Helper from which side is Helper so, so going to be going to. And that allows an opportunity to get back to the stage itself and finally get maybe a stop on the board for now, John Numbers, not for Helper. Yeah, Numbers' offense was just being so, so pristine. Oh, it was a little bit too far away for the scoop of the up smash hitbox. Gets the up, there, up B out of shield, but no stock without any rage on the part of Helper. And now he's got to hold some of the damage. The dash not to catch the landing here, Mont. Geez, once Numbers was able to establish that first stock, that spike on the counter from game two, it felt like he just had so much control. Helper needing to fight his way back and complete this edge guard, which he nice. does. 
I love that Cash not John was a little bit hesitant on recovering early because even though we did have our jump, you know, we don't want to up B and then suddenly we can't get back without a jump. So Helper just, you know, weaving with him, going for that up B, beautiful stuff all around. Again, Helper is in a deficit as we see that 70% is only tacking on and now it's up to Helper to actually bring us to a more even game. But John does get that forward throw, does not get a soccer ball, soccer ball however, but it gives him time to reset and get a little bit of damage off that up B, but it's going to be the Epto making sure that we maintain some space between both of these uh, people. No way! Oh, I'm sick. I'm sick. <laughs> oh, the run. What fourth throw take it? John Messi. <laughs> that was the slowest talk about throw in the world, too. Like, my grandma could have pitched it back. I'm sick. The love tap on the ball. And Scott Sterling is out here blocking it with his face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hubbard. Hubbard is not looking too good for him right oh, now. Dirty. Oh, 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 I like that back angle a little yeah. bit. The third wave to go down, like never giving John the verticality where you're anticipating like a wee fit down air just to come like flying in and ending the game at a moment like that. Like exactly like Yo, that. Yo, you died at like 20. I'm so sorry, <laughs> Helper. That's my bad, bro. Now let's try it together. From a 3 0 to a 2 stock. To a 2 stock. Yeah, it's such as a life of a Zatch player. Yeah, it happens. And like the state of the way the game ends isn't always indicative to how the set is played. Because I would still call that a relatively close set. I it's agree. just they took turns beating the crap out of each other. <laughs> they, they really said, okay, you went, now it's my turn. Yeah. Like there was actually a moment of, you know, kind of like a turn based RPG. Okay, it's my turn, the boss's turn, my turn, your boss's turn. And then uh, suddenly the boss had that extra turn that comes out of nowhere in that boss fight, and then yeah. you got down there twice and you died at 20. <laughs> it's like some some ATB at mechanics. 12. At, 12. at 12. He at goes for that upper. I'm telling you, John hunts for these. His way of edge guarding Sora is coming. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna reset this. His yes 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 John. That's because exactly it's what it's not is. about the down airs. The down airs are the result of the placement of your offense and the awareness to understand uh, the awareness of how Sora recovers a lot of the hitboxes are all horizontal they're hitting this way they're hitting this way we well, you know where numbers is coming from he's coming straight from the top and he's taking him down all the way down that was evil it's that gross was crazy. it's gross we fit we fit down there I was just mashing yeah all right thanks John John's a masher confirmed. John, yeah, John is uh, mashing. John's a masher. Y'all losing the mashers. I think it's important to recognize though that like while Sora's recovery is very good and he can and as Helper showed, you can spend a long time off stage. Yep. That does not mean it is impervious. And if you if any character has a solid down air or some sort of uh, way to approach from straight above, you can hit Sora's recovery. Uh, not to mention any like counters or projectiles as John showed off as well. Like you can have a very solid game plan against Sora that can just make his offstage and mid-air life feel like hell.